Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you with a quickie, non-spoiler review of Avengers Endgame. I saw it last night, April 25th, 2019 at 5 p.m. I checked it out with a couple of my co-workers and I thought the movie was very good. I look at this movie as uh, part two to Infinity War and I look at the entire uh, Avengers Infinity War and Endgame saga as like one huge uh, comic book event. I mean, literally every movie in the MCU over the past 10, 11 years has read like a comic book, but uh, I think they really, really drove that point home with Infinity War. It was so many great callbacks to the comic books, so many Easter eggs, so many things to to see. It was almost sensory overload. Uh, I, I use the word robust to describe the movie. Um, and I mean, it's a lot to take in on the first uh, viewing. It's impossible to take it all in in one viewing. It's definitely worth multiple viewings. There were some issues that I had with the movie, but I still give it a very high score. And the issues that I had were not major. Um, I want you to go into this movie, though, uh, completely blind. If you haven't read any spoilers or looked at any trailers or anything like that, I think you will enjoy the movie more, uh, more so that way. I went in completely blind. I didn't know anything, and it was very enjoyable. There's going to be a lot of emotion you'll go through. Um, the gauntlet of, of emotions here, you're going to be, uh, I mean, I had uh, a couple of girls behind me that were fucking boo-hooing, and I had a guy in front of me that was going nuts and freaking smashing my knees, jumping back and forth in a seat. So, I mean, you'll be excited, you'll be sad, uh, you know, you will most likely enjoy this. If you've been a fan of Marvel and what they've been doing, uh, the culmination of everything over the past 10, 11 years uh, really comes to a head here in a, in a good way. And like a comic book, it still leaves a lot open. The possibilities are endless. It's going to have you thinking and thinking and throwing your mind <laughs> through so many loops. But overall, I thought it was great. Get out there, see it, see it multiple times. We'll be talking about it on uh, the podcast. And uh, yeah, no spoilers. Oh, uh, the other big thing is that this is going to lead to a lot of great ACBA, man. I mean, the display possibilities with all of the scenes from this movie are crazy. And the fact that you can actually keep your current uh, costumes for a lot of the uh, figures that you have is going to be great, too. Not too many uh, new upgrades to mess around with, but uh, a lot of customizers and kit bashers are going to have a have a field day with some of the things that they uh, that are uh, possible and some of the things that need to be kind of uh, fixed on a from a customizer standpoint in order to do your thing uh, display wise. So yeah, man, great movie. Um, I'll be talking about it more. I just wanted to kind of get this out. I'm actually sneak out of work today and see it again. So there you have it. Talk to y'all soon. Peace.